Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the scorecards at this time. 115 to 115, even a draw. The decision is even a draw. Both champions retain their belts. After the scandalous verdict of the judges in the first fight between Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis, it was all that any boxing fan could talk about. It was obvious that there should have been no draw. Holyfield had won three, or at most four rounds. Because the judges had declared a draw, it was pre-written in the contract that there should be a rematch. The American public, of course, was rooting for its own, Evander. But the chances that he would win were negligible. He was already 37 years old, and to expect him to repeat the miracle of his battle with Tyson two years earlier seemed to be quite definitely unrealistic. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome boxing's proud warrior introducing Evander, the real deal, holy field. Lennox at the time was only 34 years old and he was the clear favorite of the upcoming fight. These factors combined led to only a mediocre interest in a rematch. Here is the hard-hitting and current WBC heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Lennox Lewis. The general consensus of the American boxing fan was I don't want to root for a loser. For this reason, when the fight took place on November 13, 1999 in Las Vegas, there was little excitement. Yes, they filled the hall with fans, but the intense atmosphere of their first fight was just not there. Oddly enough, the second match turned out to be far more interesting and much more competitive than the first. Projects more sheer energy than was the case in New York. The beginning of the battle favored Lewis. He controlled the long distance with his left hand and knit Evander close up. However, this time the Briton faced an actual challenge from his opponent. Evander's strike shook his enemy and he began to turn the fight in the third round. And Halpern telling Holyfield to watch his head as Lewis goes under and then over with the right hand. And the good thing about this, I didn't mention. Lewis has his cup a little... In the sixth, Holyfield realized that he could press harder and began to gain momentum. He delivered powerful blows, but Lennox responded with successful combinations of his own. The seventh round began and proved to be the most memorable round of all the other 23 rounds combined. Lennox shoved with his fists at the moment of contact and both his right straight and two Corona strikes all reached their targets. The Briton clearly controlled the battle, drowning out every attempt by his enemy to close the distance between them. If Holyfield broke through, then Lennox snapped him up and just kept him in the clinch until the referee separated them. This worked for a while, but then his tactic proved to be a failure. Evander struck a short but incredibly powerful left strike to the temple. Lennox's legs buckled. Holyfield rushed to finish him off, but he was constantly tied up when he got close. Lewis came to his senses, but his reaction time was no longer as fast as it had been. That left foot partially blocked by Lewis's right hand. Lennox leans against the ropes himself. Holyfield working the body. He missed another left from the side, and his legs buckled again. It was a serious shock. Holyfield began to win, inflicting brutal blows to the body with both hands. At the end of the round, the fighters staged an exchange of blows in the middle of the ring, which was clearly beneficial to Evander. Lewis to the body. His own right hand lands flush. They trade shots at close range. Round seven, the best round these two fighters have fought against each other in two fights. By Holyfield again. Left hook upstairs now. Another left hook, and Lewis backs up and ducks. In forward. Now, he is into trouble. If only Holyfield could just musk up. So it's a much more even fight. But despite everything we're saying, Lewis has landed some shots in this round and may, in fact, be winning the round. But when Lewis...
However, from the ninth round, Lewis regained his advantage and brought the fight to a resounding victory by the decision of the judges. This time, all three judges billed in his favor. Oddly enough, the second match turned out to be a far more even match than the first, and was undoubtedly a more eventful match than their initial meeting. Lewis won and became the absolute world heavyweight champion. And the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis. If you liked the video, press the like button, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any interesting episodes. See you in the next video.